Kepler's laws are a description of the properties of orbiting bodies. And there are three of them, the three, three laws. So the, and he came about these laws after very careful observation of data from Tycho Brahe on the position of Mars. And he was able to infer the, the orbit of Mars very carefully and, and discovered that the, um, the orbit itself was not a circle. So Kepler's first law is simply that orbits are not circular. But not just that they're, they're not circular, that they're a particular mathematical form called an ellipse. So orbits are ellipses. So imagine I'm going to very roughly draw this. Um, uh, imagine that we have our sun. We have a planet here. All right. The orbit size drawn here. Okay, and imagine that if it's not circular, that means the planet itself orbits about and at some point comes closer to the sun than it was before. So our planet is orbiting about in this direction, and sometimes it's closer to the um, sun, and sometimes it's further away from the sun. So the first law is that the orbits are ellipses and they're not circles. This has some mathematical properties uh, to it, and and you can and uh, um, and you can also think the center of the ellipse. Let's see, I'll draw it right here. That's the center of the ellipse. So the sun in this um, in this view is at offset from the center of the of, of the ellipse. The second law. It's called the equal areas and equal times law. Equal areas in equal time. And what this means is that as this planet is orbiting about, it's sweeping about an area of the orbit. So imagine it goes from here, from this point to this point. And there's the uh, point where, where it's at. The area that's swept out is this area right here. Now, later on, we find the planet, say, closer to the, to the sun. Wrong color. Let's try that again. OK. Um, the, we find it on the other side, and it's closer. And in order to sweep out an equal area, an equal area here would actually correspond to a larger change in distance. So somewhere, let's say, over here. And this area now is equivalent. And what it's saying is that the time it takes to go, go from, let's say, point A to point B is the same as it takes to go from point C to point D as long as these areas are the, are the same. Another way to say that, um, or another consequence, is essentially that as the planet is closer to the sun, it moves faster. Not just, not just uh, arbitrarily faster, this equal areas and equal times is a rule that um, specifies how much faster exactly. So finally, his third rule, the third Kepler law, states that the um, uh, a relationship between the time it takes for the planet to go all the way around. So imagine it goes from point A all the way around back to point A again. And we'll call that time P, which and, and, and that's what we'll call the period. All right. And we're going to measure, we're going to define also a distance to the center of the ellipse, or you can think of it as half of 
the full length of the ellipse, what's called the semi-major axis, I'll, I'll, I'll call it lowercase a here. Uh, the different letters sometimes um, come, into, come into play. And, and what Kepler f determined was that the p squared, as long as you measured it in years, was equal to a cubed, as long as you measure your distances in a astronomical units where one astronomical unit is the same as one kind of earth to sun distance for mars mars is a, is 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 about one and a half times as far as the earth is um and, and so that would be one and a half in this in, in this case, and so the period would be correspondingly longer. It takes Mars longer to go around than uh, does for the Earth, and 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 this is a quantitative relationship, um, which which quantifies the closer equals faster. Um, essentially, it sums up if you have a smaller orbit, planets orbiting closer to their sun actually move faster and thus uh, take. A, a smaller amount of time to go around in addition to their you know the fact that they don't have quite as far to go